All right, guys, we got a 2017 Ford Focus RS in the shop. Uh, this week, it's July 11th. Car showed up on Friday. Uh, we took it apart and measured a bunch of things, weighed a bunch of things, made an initial post. Now we've done some, a little bit deeper digging, and we're going to show you some more uh, issues with this car. All right, we got the hood up. And as you can see, it's a really short engine bay. The engine bay is literally that long, like two and a half feet long. And unfortunately, the front axle center line is way back here. So the entire engine is in front of the front axle center line, which is literally behind the back of this cow. So the whole engine's in front. It makes for a lot of weight on the front axle. It's got about 59% over the front wheels, um, which makes it a challenge to do some of the things we like to do. Uh, one of the challenges, uh, we want to make a, a camber plate, camber and or caster for this car. And as you can see, the strut towers are buried up under all this Tupperware. So to get to the strut tower, we have to pull all of this off. And that makes adjustments very difficult. You're going to have to leave this off, and that kind of leaves a big gaping hole at the back of the engine bay. So camber plates are going to be a challenge to adjust unless you're willing to cut all this up. There's a big strut tower brace, but the biggest problem is the strut tower itself is pretty small in diameter, and the OEM spring is very big. To be able to get any camber adjustment, we've got to move the top of the strut from here inboard, and we really need about three quarters of an inch of travel. 95% of the cars out there, we can do this. Uh, this is one of those 5% where the spring is so big, it physically has nowhere to go. There's less than a quarter inch between the spring and the tower. It's going to bang into the tower if we move it a fraction of an inch inboard. So we can get no camber adjustment out of it, which really reduces the need for a camber plate right now. Initially, when a car first comes out, we like to make a camber plate that works with the OEM spring, like we did the S550 Mustang, Fitch and Camaro, the F22 uh, BMW 1234 series, which is coming out in the, in the next couple weeks. And when we released the S550 camber plate for coilovers, a year ago, we sold three or four sets. Uh, we released the OEM production version middle of last week, we sold nine or 10 sets in a week. So the OEM version, when a car is brand new like this is, is much preferred if we, because we can still work with a factory spring, a lowering spring, the stock shocks. People think the factory shocks on a new car are magic. Most of the time they're garbage. These shocks are nothing special. They have some little doodad on them, sport mode, doesn't mean anything. Uh, we can work with a coilover, 60 millimeter, a two and a quarter, two and a half inch ID spring with a real shock can make a big difference on these cars. And I guarantee you, they're really, really soft, like all OEM cars are. Um, it still rides pretty harsh. And there's some things we can fix, but we can't do the easy camber plate that everyone's gonna want. So to do any camber adjustment, I don't care who makes it, there's no magic. It's a physical constraint. There's nowhere for the spring and strut to go. We can't do it with this spring or a lowering spring. So we're gonna have to really push people to coilovers to get any camber, otherwise they're just gonna tear the tires up. This car had a degree of negative camber, 1.1, which wasn't bad, but it's not enough for track use. It's just gonna shred the outer shoulders of the tires, um, and possibly a weekend you could go through a set of fronts. So we really encourage people to really think about tracking these cars and know that they're gonna be you know, camber limited, uh, there is no factory adjustment, so that's one of the challenges we have. Next in this video, we'll show underneath and show you the physical constraints. All right, we got the Focus RS up in the air. Uh, front brakes off for getting weights, and that gives us really good clearance to see what's going on in the strut tower. And uh, you can't really tell, but that giant OEM spring is not going to allow us to do any camber adjustment worthwhile. We might be able to move a quarter inch. And to do any real camber adjustment, we need to move about three quarters of an inch. So we'll really pooch this on this one. No way are we going to make an OEM camera plate for this chassis. Not for these springs. It's got to be coilovers only, boys. Okay, we're standing around uh, all the Vorschlag guys. Uh, this is what it takes, four or five guys to, to tear a car apart to do camera plate design. This is the new Ford Focus RS. Uh, a lot of challenges here. Uh, underneath, we've already shown a video that shows how big the spring is inside the strut tower. There's not a lot of travel, uh, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to move the top of the strut inboard to uh, gain negative camber. So the challenge was all the stuff on top of the strut towers that's in the way. Uh, there's this big strut tower brace, 
seven and a half pound brace we just weighed and it attaches here three bolts here and on both sides the two wiper motors go through uh, you can see some some weld nuts underneath there's some tupperware that mounts on top uh, and the wiring for the adjustable shocks goes through here so getting this off took 20 minutes of puzzling and above that this was this rain tray here uh, it looks like a fiberglass piece and above the rain tray was this weatherproof cover and it's got these little speaker grills that pop in place um, for venting access to this, yeah all of this comes off wipers come off this channel this channel clips into there it was a real challenge to get that off too um, so the packaging underneath the hood of this car is pretty it's pretty tight unlike most cars the strut top mount actually has a bolt that goes through the top so you've got to line it up in the tower underneath underneath this massive strut tower brace which you can't it covers all this up visually and you have to line these three bolts up so we if we made a camera plate it's going to have three studs that'll come through and you'll have to put the strut tower brace on top of that and and even though there's places for a locating pin on it, there's not they any. didn't put a locating pin on the top now. No, that's strange. So, so it's going to be, you know, just putting struts in, in and out of these cars is going to be a challenge uh, because of the way they, they mount it kind of backwards. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, these are adjustable shocks. People aren't going to want to give those up, but we are. <laughs> we want to get rid of those and put some coilovers on this car in a bad way. But we're going to see what we can do.